sports on the channel right now are all GTA 5 related. And I guess I, you know, I kind of wish I was still on that wagon, you know, covering all the sorts of new stuff that comes into GTA 5 because it's still such a really popular game. And uh, I feel like, uh, well, I know that most of the audience and all the subscribers that subscribed to me all came from the GTA 5 videos. But anyways, uh, I want to talk about the, my wish list. My wish list of GTA 6. What I want to see in the online thing, online side of things with GTA 6. And I'll cover a little bit of the story mode in this as well. So, without further ado, let us get started into the video. So, number one, what it would be, I want to see, you know, GTA kind of keep things kind of, you know, preserve the core of what GTA is. Is that, you know, you're a low life, uh, you're a low life criminal in the city trying to make a quick buck or whatever by doing the most scammy things, either you're selling product or selling cars, doing all this, just to, you know, make money. What I don't want to see is that I, wa I don't want to have Sergeant Random NPC calling me and telling me, oh, get this flying DeLorean, you gotta fly this around with your with your friends and you gotta save the world. Yeah, because the, the first person you want to help need help saving the world is a low-life criminal. Yeah, totally. I mean, I get I get it. It's cool if you want to go own your own submarine. But in the core of GTA and Grand Theft Auto, I mean, it's just it's, that's just my opinion on it. I just don't think it fits into the, what GTA is. Uh, so number two is no unnecessary vehicles. There's nothing more annoying that you're doing a job on GTA Online. Either you're doing a secure serve or you're doing the motorcycle clubs. Uh, or you're just doing a simple supply run or whatever to get your your warehouse more stuff so you can sell it for more money. Nothing more annoying than having to go and do that task but have somebody come across the map with an oppressor mark two and shoot you down with a homing missile. I don't want to see any flying cars, flying motorcycles that shoot missiles. I get it on paper, it sounds cool, but really it's annoying. There has to be some major tuning if they're wanting to get another oppressor in GTA 6, they have to do some heavy tuning. That vehicle alone, single-handedly, killed off a good portion of GTA Online player. So, Rockstar, please learn from your lesson that you made from this. And don't bring back uh, vehicles that are made to grief. Uh, so, number three is the economy. Uh, this is mostly taking off points from Red Dead Online in its beginning stages. I pre I think they did an overhaul with the pricing. Uh, I shouldn't have to grind my ass off to get a rifle that's $300 when every single job I do gets me like 30 bucks. Uh, and I, I got another point here, but I'll say that for number six. But number four, I like to see Rockstar bring back director mode I know for us content creators out there we love to have different tools that can help us make some very fun videos I for one have some Friday the 13th GTA 5 videos I'll leave a card up on the top right of the screen if you guys want to check some of those out but a good portion of those I use director mode in and if you guys don't know what director mode is director mode pretty much it, it gives you like some characters from the story and you can record whatever you're doing then go into director mode and change the camera angle for whatever you were doing when you recorded and you can make your entire you can make a entire gta movie if you wanted to by using director mode uh i don't know why they didn't do it in red dead 2 i feel like in this go around i feel like director mode should be included into gta 6 it's a it's one of those it's one of those modes that I really found enjoyable. A lot of people enjoyed it too. So please Rockstar bring director mode back. Number five is this is for the story mode. When every when every DLC that comes out that includes vehicles from planes, cars, trucks, you name it, please include those DLC vehicles into the story mode as well. Cause I know there's some people out there that don't play the online portion. They just stick to the story mode. I get it. But it's not fair for them if we get the vehicles exclusive to one mode. And plus, you know, when you usually when you beat GTA games, you're left with a lot of money. 
my character Franklin on this game, he has like $7.8 million, and I don't know what to use on that. And if we had some vehicles that are on GTA Online right now, like we had a shit ton of vehicles, I'm pretty sure I'd do a lot more car customization videos with my single player alone. Because I didn't, I didn't wouldn't have to worry about the economy on my own GTA Online character, you know. Uh, make every new DLC vehicle or weapon or whatever be included into the main story. And for the finishing things off, a number set, number six. This goes back to uh, the economy of things, but make the missions in the GTA Online missions make sense. There, I have two examples here. One's from Red Dead 2, one's from GTA Online. The one from GTA Online, I was doing a motorcycle club mission with my friend Nick. And I think we were doing either we were selling we were doing we were selling weed or we were doing counterfeit cash or whatever. And it came time to sell the product. And what the game told us to do is that we had to take we had to take a plane in Blaine County and we had to fly that plane in Los Santos, underneath a lot of towers, and you know, yeah, I am a drone pilot, but I, you know, I had to take an FAA course, and I know that you cannot fly a plane, but like at building level, you know, it's you know obvious, it's common sense. And I am no expert in selling narcotics, but I'm pretty sure that you have you need to be a discreet as hell in order to successfully sell your product or whatever that is. There's nothing discreet about flying a plane in a city and dropping things off from the sky. Nothing will set a police officer off more than seeing somebody flying a plane below towers in a city. So that's my that was one example in GTA Online. Another one is in Red Dead 2. In this case, we were I was helping my friend Nick do a bounty hunter run. And once we got the bounty hunter, we discovered that by, like, if you get the bounty in Red Dead 2 and you turn in that bounty earlier, you'll get less money, you know, if you did that versus if you took your time, you know, waited last second to deliver the bounty to the, sher to the sheriff. You get paid more money by, by how much longer it takes you to deliver the bounty versus what you would think would give you the high dollar amount by doing it how, by how fast you get it done. But that wasn't the case. Make the missions make sense and how you do the missions make sense. If you get the job done faster, you should get paid more, not the other way around. So with that being said, that was my six points into what I want to see in GTA 6. I'm pretty sure that, you know, I mean, I have some strong feelings that Rockstar has some, hopefully has, a, you know, some of these addressed and worked into GTA 6 to make the game a lot more enjoyable. Not for just for, not just for me, but for everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. And if, if you guys haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Now check out this nosedive.